John Lee has an image where he compares going through life to going across an ocean in a little tiny boat. Of course, one of the big ironies of going across the ocean is there's lots of water around you, but you can't drink it. I remember reading one time that the salinity of the oceans is the same as the salinity of your tears. It gives you something to think about. There's a lot of suffering in the world, a lot of negative things happening in the world. So we have to figure out some way of getting nourishment out of the world without taking the suffering. This is what meditation is for. He says what you need on your boat is a distillery so you can take seawater and turn it into fresh water. Due to that by getting the mind still and then developing some insight. So as you see things arising and passing away, whether they're good or bad, you can get something good out of them. You can get some insight out of them. That way the mind is nourished. You can get concentration out of them. That's nourishment too. So learn to develop these skills and then use them as you go through life. All too many people use their meditation skills when they're sitting here with their eyes closed or doing walking meditation. But when they go to the outside world, they just leave these skills behind. So remember when the, when the Buddha is talking about being with the breath, being aware of the whole body as you breathe in, the whole body as you breathe out, and calming your breath. These are skills not just for sitting with your eyes closed. They're skills for any time as you're going through, through life. And you have this tendency to feed off of what other people are saying or what other people are doing. And you have to realize that's bad food, that's salt water. You can't drink it. It's going to make you sick. You have to distill it first. So you use your skills of concentration, you use your skills of insight. When something arises, you realize, okay, this is something fabricated, it'll last for a little while and it'll go away. When things make contact at the senses, remember it's just contact. The way we talk about that contact, that pulls it into the mind. And again, we're putting salt water in our minds. We have to distill these things first. Use the insight that reminds you, okay, the contact is there. As soon as the contact is ended, it's ended. You don't have to make yourself miserable over the contact by continually commenting on it. So learn how to use these skills, distill the salt water of the world. So you have fresh water for the mind. You can use it to bathe, you can use it to drink. In this way, instead of having to carry huge quantities of fresh water with you as you go on, this, on your little boat, you've got a little distillery and that gives you all the water you need to get to the other shore. <laughs>